G'day escapists, my name is Tegan and this is my first vlog post ever. Ever! Yes, because this little baby here is my new webcam. It's Logitech and I just got it yesterday. Actually, my dad bought it for me because I conned him into it, but oh well. Anyway, so today I'm going to talk about the first book in a five book series by Mary Hoffman. So, there's five books in the series. I shall show them to you. Um, yeah. Basically, these five books are all written in 16th century Italy, but not the Italy as we know it. It's a different Italy, an alternate universe where, um, okay, if you learn Italian, or oh, maybe if you haven't learned Italian, you would know that Rome was founded by Romulus. Um, because after he defeated his brother Remus, and they were both, that was the thing about him being brought up by a wolf or something. Yeah, basically, this book series, this book series, is set in the 16th century Italy, where Remus beat Romulus, and he named his little town Remora. Yeah, back to the book. City of Masks starts off with us being introduced to Lucian. He is a Londoner. He goes to um, his high school like all of us. He's apparently really gorgeous. <laughs> but they sound like wrong with Lucian. He has cancer. Um, they've tried chemo, but it's just made him feel awful. And he's coming back, and he knows that there's a big chance he's going to die. <clears throat> because of his chemo, he's very, very tired, and sometimes he can't find the energy to speak. So one day his father comes back and he has he has this really pretty notebook. It's um red and blue, I think, and swirly. And just you know, nice. He found it in a skip off this other road. And, um we've seen the story about Venice. He went there with an ex-girlfriend, we assume. Lucien falls asleep. And then he wakes up and he's not in London anymore. He is in Venice. He doesn't know it. Valencia. He doesn't know it at the time though. And he's not He's a bit, uh, when this boy comes up and practically tackles him to the ground, you know, starts yelling at him, and it's just, it's not a boy, really. It's a girl. And a lot of this, um, book revolves around Ariana, who is the girl that practically tackles down Lucien and saves his life, basically. I'm not going to go on to tell you more about the plot, except that it is the De Comici. They are a, they were a big part of it. They are kind of like the royal family up there. The um the older brother is Pope. Pope Pop Pope. Oh god, I can't speak today. Um he's Pope. And um he's a younger brother, Duke Yukimichi. He's he kind of owns everything. Basically he's he's trying to get he's got all the cities in Talia except one. Let's see to join his, you know. There's a word for it, but I don't remember. Anyway, so he's trying to get Valencia to join. <sighs> Valencia, <laughs> trying to get Valencia to join him. But they're um, Duquesa, the Duchessa, Duquesa, you know. They, she doesn't want to give up her city under the reign of the Dukemichi, so she's very stubborn about that. Lucian wakes up and he, you know, after the girl, he with the girl, he finds that he's a extravaganza. He doesn't have a shadow and this means he can travel between his time, his world, and this 16th century Bletia. Um, The notebook that his father gave him was the talisman. It was actually made in Bletia by this um, guy. <laughs> and Rodrigo, I think his name is, maybe. Anyway, so this talisman, this notebook, is what gets him from Bletia to London. Generally, it's just about the extravaganza, the time travelers of sorts, the Dikimichi, and the Duquesa and the girl. There's a murder plot, there's, you know, assassination, there's, oh god, romance. I know you escapists love that. And, you know, it's very historical as well. Mary Hoffman's an excellent writer. She writes in third person past tense. And she doesn't go all flat like a lot of writers. Her writing is really, it's really, um, really straight to the point, but she does put in details and she's very natural. She doesn't go out of her way to explain stuff that we might know about. It's just kind of, we just kind of pick it up. It's just, 
She's, she's, she's excellent, actually. So, yeah. I highly suggest you read the series. Anyway, that was my first blog post ever about um, City of Masks in the first book in the Stravaganza series. Um, it was my first blog post, as I've said, like a million times. So, it's a lot to suck, and it, I accept that it may <laughs> suck, indeed. Um, so just tell me what you think in the comment section down there. Um, yeah, and seriously, go read the book. They're really, really good. And I actually learnt, I learnt stuff from them because of how historical it was. So yeah, um, ciao, and I'll see you later. Bye!